What is going on guys, it is Wyatt and today we're going to be building a new intake for the pickup truck as you have seen in the last couple videos. So yeah, let's do it. This video is probably going to be a lot of time lapse just because all we're doing is building an intake and it's really not that fascinating. So uh, we're going to jump right into things. In the last video you guys saw I had gotten all this aluminum tubing. This is 4 inch and then I have this little expander to a 5 inch for the air filter to go on. And uh, we're going to take all this junk and turn it into hopefully a mediocre looking intake for the truck and replace this ugly thing right here. So we're going to get this thing ripped off real quick and start mocking everything up and uh, see how far we can get tonight. It's probably going to take a long ass time but for you guys it will be like 5 minutes. So. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out real quick. As you just saw, we just finished welding out the intake. It doesn't look great, doesn't look bad. Uh, it is what it is. I've also spent the last five hours on my freaking lathe over yonder, right there, making this freaking piece right here. This is for the LB7 MAF sensor, and uh, this thing was a pain in the ass. It started out as like a way oversized block of aluminum, and then I used the lathe to true up all the sides on this thing and to cut the hole and then I used a big hole saw and my mill and cut this piece out of it to give it this contour for our aluminum piping as you can see this kinda went something like that and anyways the hole saw was the easiest way I could find to do that and it turned out pretty good it doesn't fit exactly perfect 100% on here but it fits really well and I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I spent way too much time on this thing because I could have bought one online for like 25 bucks. But if I can make it, like I said, I usually will. So the mass airflow sensor itself actually fits in this thing pretty dang good. Um, no complaints there. I just need to drill the holes to bolt it in and we should be good to go. But as far as it, the fitment on it, it fits really well and it uses the factory o-ring on this guy instead of using like a gasket on top like some of these aftermarket intakes do. So that's really nice. Uh, the next thing I need to do is get this intake put on the truck 
kind of figure out where I want this guy, drill the hole, get it welded on, and then we should be damn near done. Just wanted to film a short little bonus clip. Uh, the truck is at 399,600 some odd miles. Right now we're just driving home. I got a truck on my trailer back there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, truck's running really good. This is with the new intake on it. And I'm having a little bit of a weird issue with the mass airflow sensor. Um, either the mass airflow sensor or the tune or something, but when you're pulling a grade and you're like in the throttle and you're making boost, uh, it's doing a weird turbo flutter. And I haven't had this issue before, it's just now. So there's a bunch of things that have changed, so I'm gonna have to rule them all out one by one. Because uh, we did the exhaust manifolds, the up pipes, the intake, and new tuning. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to have to figure that out. I don't think I can get it to do it on camera. Uh, I did take, did take a couple clips of it doing it, so maybe we'll add that into this video. But for right now, it seems to be driving pretty dang good. And uh, yeah, we're almost back to the shop, so we'll unload this truck. we got to put a transmission in it, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, there she is. Good old work truck doing her thing. Um, the only complaints I do have with this engine, since it is 400,000 miles on the factory piston rings, it's got some blow by. And you can't really see it right now, but it does have some blow by from this tube. And it's pretty much all cleared up right now, actually. So. Well guys, I have the other truck in the shop, so the best I can do right now is with a flashlight. But this is how the intake looks so far. Uh, not too bad. I did get the mass sensor bung deal kind of welded on. I still need to drill and tap holes though, so I can actually mount the mass sensor, but it's not really going anywhere. I also used some duct tape earlier to hold the air filter up because I haven't built my bracket for it just yet. Uh, so yeah, that'll all be done in the next video, but like I said, I'm not going to get to that today. So want to get this one edited for you guys and uploaded and uh, I'm gonna take Hayden for a spin real quick it'll be his first time in it since it's back together those welds look good they're okay I'm proud <laughs> I think the best ones are underneath where you can't see them like this one right here on the corner they look pretty good though like down lower that one oh yeah looks perfect yeah but like those are all the nice ones underneath you can't see they look good though compared yeah, to what right. you're doing last year yeah Fuck. <laughs> this compared to the, the DA's intercooler piping? Dude, the DA was sick and you know it. Dude, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're going to go for a spin real quick just to kind of make this video a little entertaining. And uh, then we'll be back. Is that your wastegate? No, that's a that's a queefer valve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was mounted lower before. No, that's where it's been the whole time. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's go for a spin. Feels all right, but it's like no, it I def good. they definitely turned it down a bunch because I told well, yeah, them it's stop rods. It's stop probably pissing. a good thing though, so you don't blow it the f up. Yeah, it's not bad for a pickup. It sounds good. I kind of want to put the other tunes back on it just to fucking go ham. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. I'm a laughing bender rod. I kind of want to. Give me the bender rod tune. Yeah, for real. Now, I think they turned it down a bunch because I told them it's a stock rod, stock piston truck. Oh, what was the other tune? The tune, I didn't tell them it was stock rods or pistons or anything, but it was set up for the 45% injectors. And what's the only difference is they take down, they take out a bunch of timing and then they turn down the pulse width. But if I have the tune in there for 45% injectors, it's gonna flow what those injectors should have been. So say, say for a 45% injector, the pulse width was, I don't know, 2,000 milliseconds or whatever. Yeah. Um, and instead of being a 2,000 US or whatever pulse width, they turn it down to like a 1,200 pulse width because you're flowing the same amount of fuel mechanically. 
in the same amount of time, like in a less amount of time, uh-huh. you know? So with the 45% injector tune in here, it's just spraying a lot more fuel, which equates more power yeah. and all the boost in the world. I get what you're saying. So yeah, but I don't know. It's probably better I just leave it like this so I don't bend another rod because yeah. that would suck. Yeah, because that definitely feels like what your tune three felt like before. All the queef noises. <laughs> now I'm just happy to have the damn truck back to be honest. What Sounds do you think? really good. I don't think I've ever heard it run this good. Wow. Oh my God. All the brightness. Dude. <laughs> Why the f- <laughs> Why do you have lights that bright? So you can see something when you're trying to get it on in the back seat. Right. Hard to find the hole in the door. You know, we normally never have no problems. <laughs> Boost gauge don't work either. Gotta love is pro, baby. RIP. Expensive ass gauges and my glow shits worked better for four years. Anywho, let's get back to the shop. I'm over tonight. I'm ready I'm for about bed. To gap you in my clocked out turd. Let's race, bro. Exhaust leaks and all. I'm down. <laughs> I know you guys probably can't see him, but I keep turning the camera over to him. But no, like I said, I'm just happy to have the truck back. So in the future, we'll put the built engine in it and actually do something cool with it. But until then, thousand horsepower, baby. Yeah, thousand horsepower or bust, dude. I'm going for twelve hundred on the sprayer bust. Like, like nitrous spray right into the nitrous intake. Ghetto fog. I'm down. Let's do it. Let me hold it. Well, guys, it's been kind of a scattered ending to this video. Uh, you guys saw that I just went and picked this truck up on my trailer, and the truck Let did fine. Let me be fire. in it. <laughs> 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 Big dumb idiot. Um, but the truck did really good. Like I said, we got it all back together. Filmed that little bit in the truck for you, and uh, it sounds pretty good. The new intake works well. I just need to figure out the turbo flutter deal. I don't know if it's tune related or maybe the mass airflow sensor location or something like that. I don't know. But we'll address that in the next video. I'm about to get out of here for tonight and I don't really feel like pulling the truck in to film any more on it. Uh, also, we got Hayden's dumbass. His slicks mounted up on his tire, or the tires mounted up on his wheels. So hopefully his RX-7 will be out and about soon. I seen he just got the four link pretty much buttoned up on it, sorta. Yep. Are you I gonna make a video on it? Yeah. Hopefully right. soon. We'll go check it out. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Fuck, it'll probably be before I upload this video. So I'll still put a link to it. Um, but make sure to check that out. It's a really cool build. And uh yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here for the night. And uh hopefully the next video will be on something a little bit cooler with the truck, maybe doing some hood rat things with it. I still need to get it registered, but that'll all be the next one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this one was fairly interesting, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.